In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how easy it is to sideload apps to your Oculus Go. Coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as I am, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. All right, so you want to sideload apps to your Oculus Go. Well, it's easier than you think and actually it was easier than I thought because I had read some tutorials and watched some videos and it looked kind of complicated, but I found out that actually you don't need all those steps. Now I'm going to show you how to sideload apps with one example, with RiftCat VRidge. RiftCat VRidge is an app that allows you to play Steam VR games on your Oculus Go and well, you have to sideload it. And with this example, I'm going to show you how to do it. Actually, you only need to do two things. You need to put this, your Oculus Go, into developer mode and you need to install a software called ADB. And well, then you simply have to copy the APK to your Oculus Go and that's it. And exactly how everything works, I'm going to show you now. In order to put your Oculus Go into developer mode, you have to create an organization for your Oculus account. And that sounds very complicated, but it's really, really very simple. Go to the organization creation page and you'll find the link in the description below. And important, you have to log in now with the same account that you use for your Oculus Go. And I'm doing this right now here. So in this context, what is an organization and the organization name? Well, if you were really to develop an app or game for Oculus, then this organization name would be displayed next to that game or app. So here's the create new organization page. And now they ask you to put in the name of your organization and you can really put in anything. It doesn't matter at all. Like for example, now I write good go games and then click on submit and that is really everything you need to do you're finished now on your phone start the oculus app in the oculus app go to the bottom right and click on settings now once you've done that click on your oculus go on the top to connect to it and then we're going to have some more options now you see more settings click on more settings now you see the developer mode click on developer mode and here's a switch that you simply need to activate. Now I already had it activated. Let me deactivate it and activate it again just to show you how simple it is. And yes, that's it. That is step one finished. Now on your computer, you have to download ADB. Now this is my desktop and this is the great tutorial where I learned this from. It's on a website called headjack.io. So big thanks for making that great tutorial. So now let's click on the ADB drivers and I'm going to link them in the description below. This is the Oculus website where you can download the ADB drivers that you will need. So you can choose between 2.0 and 1.0, go for 2.0, check that mark and click on download. And now you're downloading the ADB drivers. So simply unpack that zip file and in that zip file, now you have to right click on the .inf file. Let me show you that. In that zip file, you will find a folder called USB drive. Go there and now you'll find this file here. It's called Android Win USB. Right click it and click on install. So you will be asked if you would really like to install it. Yes, absolutely. Go ahead and well, this installs the ADB drivers. You're done. If you use a Mac, please go to the tutorial. I'll link it in the description below. Now we need to test if the ADB drivers have been installed successfully. And to do that, we open the command prompt as an administrator. And we do so by looking for CMD and right click on the command prompt and run as administrator. Just like this. Now into the command prompt type ADB help in order to find out if the ADB drivers have been installed correctly, because if they have been installed correctly, you will see that the ADB command works. And as you can tell here, it does work. If it doesn't work, then it means that you need to change the directory with the CD command and change it into the installation directory of the ADB tools. Where exactly that is, you'll find in the description below. 
All right, so now it's time to connect your Oculus Go with your computer. Simply use the USB cable that came with your Oculus Go and, well, connect it with your computer. Now we use an ADB command in order to see if ADB can recognize your Oculus Go. So go to the command prompt and type ADB devices. Now there should be one device, but it's unauthorized. What you have to do now, pick up your Oculus Go, put it on, and using your Oculus Go controller, authorize the request. There is one pop-up now in VR and simply click on authorize or allow. Once you've done so, open your command prompt again and again, type in ADB devices. Now, this time you should see an ID number and device behind it. And this means, yes, you have successfully added your Oculus Go to your computer and you can reach it with ADB. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that is copy the APK file over to your Oculus Go. Now, APK file, that is the file type of apps in the Android system. So simply find an APK and copy it over with a certain APK command. So first, let's get that APK file, for example, Riftcat Rich in this case. The Riftcat guys have pointed me to this website where you can download the Riftcat Rich APK for the Oculus Go. Of course, I'm going to put the link into the description below. After you've downloaded the file, make sure that you know the path to the file and probably also change the name to make it a bit easier to write down. So I've changed the name to vrich.apk. Now the only thing left to do is open your command prompt and type adb install. Now put the path to your apk file, in my case that's this here, and enter the name of the apk file, vrich.apk in my case. Then click enter and that's really it. Now the apk file is being transferred to your Oculus Go and the app is being installed on the device. And that is really everything you need to do in order to install APK files onto your Oculus Go. Now, in order to start your app or game that you've just installed, simply go to the library in your Oculus Go, find unknown sources. It's now there because you're in developer mode and look through the list and click on the name of the app that you've installed. For RiftKit VRidge, I had to scroll to page number eight then there it was, and then I just clicked on it and everything worked like a charm. And that's it. It's really so simple to sign on apps to your Oculus Go. Now, if you have any more questions about the Oculus Go or how to sign on apps, then please do leave them in the comment section below or much better. Why don't you directly get in touch with me and the MRTV community on the MRTV Discord server. The MRTV Discord server is a great free resource to chat with me and the MRTV community. And of course, it's completely free of charge. Go there simply by clicking on the link in the description below. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want more tutorials about the Oculus Go and more great content about VR and AR in general, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So I'm now looking forward to see you in the next episode.